What's going on there, folks? Good morning, uh, good afternoon to some out there. It is the Earth Master here on this Monday, uh, February 14, 2022. Happy Valentine's Day out there to, to uh, everyone out there. If you are indeed celebrating that special day with someone, uh, it's about 10:44 uh, a.m. California time out here along the West Coast, and the latest earthquake out there on the Earthquake 3D Globe shows well, a 3.0 earthquake out here along the Gulf of Alaska region up here into the Gulf. Just looks like uh, right outside of the Anchorage region. Let's go ahead and check out that latest movement there. Seen a pretty good uh, uptick in activity over the last 24 hours or so uh, worldwide, it seems like. See if I can get this thing to key up correctly here. There we go. That's a little on the odd side. Still trying to get this thing set up properly here. There we go. All right, we're good. Uh, 3.0 up in the Alaska region, just southeast of Fairbanks by about 50 miles or so. 13.7 uh, kilometers. Seen a trail of deep movement over here across the uh, Pacific and the North American plate interaction, the boundary here, the subduction zone over the last 24 hours stretching across the Cook Inlet area. Uh, some deep earthquake activity taking place in that region. The all magnitudes map there kind of verifies that activity throughout the area as well. Also a little bit of swarming kicking up here with a 4.5, the largest quake kind of into the subduction zone region, although pretty shallow earthquake movement at, uh, at least for these earthquakes, defaulted to 10 kilometers uh, in this area. But gotta watch this uh, pretty closely here, that subduction zone. Uh, some further movement to the west. The volcanoes over here across the Aleutian Trench looks pretty quiet, and the Kuril Kamchaka and the Japan Trench all quiet as well. We've seen a further push of movement here to the west uh, yesterday, uh, specifically right around the Mariana Trench with a couple fives kicking up there, some two 5.7s and some other fours, and uh, I'm sure quite a few threes in there as well. Uh, so still kind of watching this area here to the west, uh, up and down the... the uh, right around the Philippine Plate and the uh, Mariana Trench region, all under quite a bit of stress out there, I believe. Throughout the Indonesia region as well, seen some deep movement with uh, that 4.2 at 392 kilometers for that earthquake. Uh, pretty deep movement out there. And uh, things somewhat calming down today. Remember yesterday, we've seen a swarm of activity here around the Tonga and Fiji region with some deeper earthquake activity. Since then, things kind of dying out here. We did have one earthquake here, uh, 131 kilometer deep earthquake at the northern end of the Hikarangi subduction zone, kind of towards the southern end of the uh, Kermadec Trench here. Uh, so I'm watching that area as well. Really deep earthquake yesterday, 4.4 at uh, 524 kilometers. Uh, there's some activity we were looking for kind of up here around the Kazakhstan area. Is that correct? Uh, up here north of the actually kind of looks like it's around the China area uh, but they have it set here in this region 4.5 at uh, 10 kilometers the Mediterranean Sea area and Middle East for the most part pretty quiet some further movement last night around Uganda and areas uh, to the south a couple upper forests kicking off there in Africa uh, what else we got? The uh, North Atlantic, South Atlantic, Mid Atlantic, all looking pretty quiet along the Antarctica Plate as well, at least according to the USGS. Uh, some movement in the Puerto Rico area kind of ramping up once again, although not as specifically intense. Definitely seen some activity today and also off the coast of the Colombia area. Central America region looks like uh, 10 kilometers below the surface for that earthquake. West Coast, what do we got going on here? We do have a little bit of heightened activity kicking up here. I kind of noticed that all morning long. Seems like this is the hot spot of activity this morning. Uh, so I can only assume we're going to see some further activity here along the West Coast. Uh, Texas activity ramping up in a big way out there once again. Had quite a few threes and even a 4.2 there a couple days ago. Today, uh, about three earthquakes in the three range and some further movement up in Oklahoma. Uh, nothing specific there around the New Madrid zone. One little earthquake here in the North Carolina, actually Tennessee area, 1.7 at uh, 1.7 kilometers. Look at that, 1.7, 1.7. A lot of numbers there. Uh, let's see what else we got. West Coast here. So activity ramping up here south of the border. Did see some further movement here, a little swarming of activity 
into the Baja California region somewhat deep looks like 15 to 16 kilometers deep here into this region of Baja California well south of the border also some activity ramping up here along the Imperial Fault the San Jacinto Fault Zone uh, looking somewhat active and alive as well looking at a little swarm of movement kicking up once again or at least one earthquake around the Palomar Observatory I have to see if this is going to turn into a swarm in this region I remember last month and the month before we've been watching a pretty good uptick in swarming activity around the uh, Palomar Observatory region. Uh, let's see here, Los Angeles, we did have a, uh, a 3.2 off of the, uh, let's see which fault system this is here, it's around the Santa, uh, Santa Susana Mountains it looks like, just south of the Dell, let's see what that is here. ways away from the Sandra's fall but this here is the uh I'm trying to think of this is kind of right around the end of the San Cayetano fault uh, but this one here kind of looks like it's it's kind of hard to decipher here but um there's definitely have quite a few fault systems that run through here that are not even really shown up here on the map it's a 3.2 in this area felt uh, pretty pretty broadly over the region and uh looks like uh the depth of that earthquake pretty shallow 3.2 kilometers uh, but you can see there on the map felt uh, looks like almost down to Inglewood Los Angeles area Burbank all reported just a little weak to light shaking from that 3.2 uh, this morning in that area uh, also 1.2 well over here to the west prior to that uh, movement kind of ramping up here along the western part of the state 1.8 also well off the coast or well off the uh, San Andreas Fault and some activity kicking up here outside of the Ridgecrest zone kind of up here into the Coso Basin the Coso volcanic field a lot of uh, older uh, ancient volcanoes here through this region I'm sure a lot of lava tubes and whatnot uh, down below the surface some of this activity somewhat shallow and deep kind of all over the place here in this region so I could explain the uh, variables there in the depths of the earthquakes. Nothing significant, just a little swarming there in that region of the uh, state. Uh, up through the Sierra Nevada and the Nevada area, still uh, a little spotty on the earthquake activity. Nothing significant at the moment. Uh, some movement up around the geyser area today again, kicking up here. And uh, some movement off of the, uh, of the uh, what is this, Makama Fault? Yep, Makama Fault zone. Uh, 1.5 out there in the coastal range of around Boonville, California. Even a little earthquake up here around the uh, northern end of the San Andreas Fault at 1.2. A little bit off of the Point Arena area at 6.7 kilometers. Rest of the uh, area up here along the Cascadia looks pretty quiet, but I, I, there's activity, folks. There's definitely activity. Watch the uh, Petrolia station or the Mendocino station that I have on the live stream for the uh, live seismographs there. Uh, Mount St. Helens activity from yesterday a little bit overnight as well looking at 10 earthquakes so far in the last 24 hours yesterday when we were doing an update I think it was around 2 so we definitely did see some uh, activity ramp up overnight around the Mount St. Helens area nothing significant but when you put this into uh, perspective of the last 30 days or so of activity that's a pretty good swarm about a hundred and well we'll call it a hundred and three earthquakes in the last 30 days here at Mount St. Helens, which is still um, not uh, elevated in terms of volcanic unrest, but uh, it's something to watch, something to note, right? Any type of uh, swarming activity like that at a volcano uh, should be watched and noted uh, appropriately. Been watching the uh, seismograph state or the um, GPS stations up here around the Mount St. Helens area. And uh, some of it looks like they added another one up here. This is two, it does show 2022, so this is a GPS displacement uh, for the east, north, and the vertical uplift. <clears throat> looks like, uh, of course, we get these periods, and they come in waves too, uh, where we have a little bit of uplift and then downlift. But a general trend shows that uh, that movement kind of going down here even into 2022 it looks like had a little bit of uplift now a little bit of downlift here um, but we'll wait to see exactly how this uh, 
works out. I'm going to check this other GPS station here. That's kind of an older map, 2018. Uh, let's see what we got here. Let's see if there's something else here around Mount St. Helens. You can check out the uh, southern part. Even then, this doesn't go up to 2022. It just goes up to about 2020 on that GPS map. Check out this eastern part here. 2020. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is old. Old data. 2014 there. Not for sure why. Check this one out here. 2022 on this uh, GPS map here. So yeah, I don't see any significant changes, you know, unless this, uh, it's hard to decipher at the moment. Something we've got to watch pretty closely in the coming weeks to see if uh, this GPS uh, activity of any vertical uplift, um, uh, you know, verifies or not. So either way, 105 earthquakes at the Mount St. Helens area over the last 30 days. Nothing significant. In fact, if we go to the 2.5 and above, we don't see any. It's all below the 2.5 threshold. But still, it's activity nonetheless, and they're roughly consistent around three to five kilometers uh, below the surface. Some a little bit more shallower, some uh, really close right at the surface over here around the uh, southwest region. And that could have something to do with deflation, uh, but we will continue to monitor that activity there at uh, Mount St. Helens. The rest of the volcanoes throughout the Cascades look pretty quiet, folks. Not a whole lot going on uh, through the uh, Cascadia region, at, uh, at least according to the USGS. Uh, what else we got here? Hawaii. Hawaii. What's going on in the big islands? Probably a beautiful day out there. Looking at a little bit of migration back towards the Lohi Seamount uh, offshore submarine volcano down here in the red circle. The uh, caldera area, well, the uh, volcano region. And uh, nothing significant. Had a 3.3 kickoff, but also seen a little bit of increase well over here. Uh, way off the Big Island, 3.8 into the Pacific around the McCall Seamount. Uh, a lot of seamounts out here. A lot of uh, volcanic, of course, this whole thing is volcanic, right, in terms of uh, islands and whatnot. So a lot of volcanic activity out there. Uh, it's always good to pay attention to uh, movement uh, in the region of the Big Island. But uh, a little bit of heightened activity offshore, 3.8, and also this further uh, 3.3 over here around the Loihi Seamount kind of uh, heating things up a little bit six kilometers below the surface for the Lohi Seamount and this one here pretty deep earthquake 35 kilometers for a 3.8 uh, Yellowstone overnight. Uh, I don't believe we've seen any swarming activity. It looks like eh, it kind of still looks like a little bit here around the the uh, Borehole region. Let's make sure this is the correct date. Yep 14th seeing activity ramp up overnight a little bit uh, some microquakes very small microquakes kind of like a fracturing a rock if it you know a little cracking of rock is what it reminds me of um, also showing up on this station as well a little bit over here not as distinct uh, but more so on the promontory station you kind of see some of that earthquake activity bleeding over onto that seismograph as well now, this has been kind of coming and going did have a little swarm of activity around the maple creek area as well but uh, over the last uh, few hours or so things kind of just minimal in terms of the multitude of quakes just a couple over the last couple hours so all right folks i'm going to jump off here and enjoy the day missy mimi's made me an awesome breakfast uh had some eggs um over easy of course uh, some bacon and some potatoes with uh, onions in them and some coffee i kind of woke up to that this morning pretty awesome so big shout out to my co-host missy mimi's for that awesome breakfast I'm going to take her out to dinner tonight uh, for Valentine's Day here. So she's got a surprise in there herself. All right, guys, have a good day. Stay safe out there, and uh, we will chat you a little bit later. Live stream is up and running properly. So uh, come on over and do a little bit of earthquake chat. We'll chat you guys a little bit later. Peace out.